what's up YouTube verse Suits Crafting out here in the workshop and just wanted to give you guys an update video. I know you guys haven't heard from me in a little while. It has been a busy season. I want to thank all of you guys for your support and thank all you guys for, that have come over to the Etsy shop and have put orders in this year. It's been the busiest year that I've ever had in my entire career uh, making things and I have you guys to thank for that. You guys watch the videos, you guys see what I've got going on, you get excited about it, you go on your order and it's really exciting. Uh, this year, let's see, I think my tally is up to about 30 items that I've had to make for customers this year. And some of the most successful items so far have been my Galaxy related stuff. So I figured I'd come on here and show you guys uh, some of the stuff that we've been doing. Um, as soon as I got the Galaxy uh, blanks up onto Instagram, you guys jumped on. I immediately had people asking, hey, when these are available, let me know. And within like six hours I already had uh, 10 items uh, sold and paid for and so now I'm out here making those. So thank you guys so much for your support. Figured I'd just show you some of the stuff that we've got. So these are the Galaxy Blanks. They've got uh, black and I put um, white uh, crystal dust in there from Solar Color Dust and then they've got color shifting powders I don't know if you can see the color shift in there, but they, these ones go blue, uh, purple, and red. And then same with these uh, these pen blanks. I just had some resin that I had to get rid of. And so they uh, also have the color shifting in there. They got some black and that blue, purple, red in there. Those are really fun. And then I started doing some experimentation and trying different colors and some different things. And I found... Um, Pearl X powder has what are called interference powders that I started doing some experimentation with and they're a really neat thing. They're kind of a, an underused item. I did some research on it. I found a few articles here and there about people using the interference powders but most people they just kind of discard them, set them to the side but I'll tell you when you mix interference powders up with uh, your resins it makes for some really neat effects. So this one here uh, this has some um, just blue violet from Solar Color Dust and then interference uh, reds and violets in here uh, and it makes for some really neat color transitions and effects. Um, if you add a lot of it, it makes it kind of a, a cloudy white and instead of being transparent and seeing through it, like these ones here, you can actually see through and into the black. and when you add more of the interference powders, it gives it kind of a cloudy, um, like a cosmic cloud, you know, kind of like a cloud nebula. And so really neat effect. I like how that worked. Um, I tried a couple of different things with these ones and I did, um, usually I do layer pours. I, I pour in layers and back and forth, back and forth. And then that builds up and then I take a, a stir stick or a, or a skewer and I add lines and, and swirls and stuff in there manually. And with these, I also tried to start doing dump pours. And dump pours, what you do is you have a big cup and then you mix up all at once your, your resin. You dump it into a bunch of smaller cups, add your colors into all the individual cups, and then in your big cup, you have your base color. And for my base color, I did black because I'm trying to make a a ethereal cosmic blank and so I want to have black as my background I add um, some uh, this crystal dust into that in order to give it flashes of white sparkle here and there in order to simulate stars and then in all of my little cups I have all these interference colors color transition powders and when I and then you take all those little cups dump them all back into your main cup and you dump it at height so you give it some height that way it enters and penetrates all the way down through and mixes in and swirls with your your base color and in my case black and then once you get all your colors added back in then you pour into your molds and all of those colors intermix and they do fun things and they're really random and you don't get harsh lines um, transition lines like you, like you see here we have harsh transition lines where one color is resting on top of another instead they just intermix at random and so you can see here you've got all of these random swirls and effects going and these I think are the best I mean they just look fantastic you've got 
transitional colors in there. You've got uh, sparkle. You've got just all sorts of fun effects and transitions going on that are just, they're stupendous. They're absolutely fantastic. Uh, let me get another good one. Here's another good one here. It has something resting on the top of it there. That's why it's got a flat face and then it dips down. But look at the, the colors that are just going through there. These are just fantastic. These were so exciting when I pulled these out. I was just, I was beside myself. I was so excited. So those are some of the things that are going on out in the shop. I've got... Uh, about a dozen or so still left of those to do. Here's one that I just completed just yesterday uh, that was the other half to this blank and it came out just fantastic. So super happy with these. They're turning out really nice. Uh, I've got one customer that's ordered uh, seven of these and so these are just uh, just a standard bottle stopper, teardrop bottle stopper and they're turning out really nice. I'm really excited about how nicely they're turning out. For my first go at bottle stoppers, I didn't think that bottle stoppers were going to be a huge hit. Um, but as soon as I put them up, they started selling. And so super happy uh, that you guys want this stuff, that you're interested in it. Because, um, you know, for something that I just started kind of doing for fun, I just wanted to make a couple of bottle stoppers. My wife wanted a couple for a friend of hers. I put photos up and they just started selling and you guys love them and so I'm going to keep making them for you. Let's see, something else we've got coming out in the shop, Where is it? there we go, I've got football pens. I've started just doing uh, these football twist pens, um, these are going to be the football pen kits, chrome, I've got a Dallas Cowboys one right here and then I've got a San Francisco 49ers that I custom cast the colors myself in order to uh, do the, the fans favorite football team. So that's one of the things we got going on in the shop. We've got all sorts of different custom orders that you guys have sent in, colors and things that I never would have done before. So I just want to say thank you all so much for your support. I'm sorry I don't have any videos coming out, but I've got a lot of orders to fulfill. You guys love the shop. You love the stuff that I'm making, and that makes me so super happy. So from me and my family, thank you so much, and have a happy, merry Chris Mahana Kwanzaa. I'm pretty sure that covers all the holidays. Thank you so much for joining me out in the shop. This is Tactical Painter out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop, signing out.